What is going on YouTube family? Welcome to another video. This week, I decided to change things up a bit and instead of doing a property tour video, I wanted to talk to you guys about what is currently going on in the South Florida real estate market because guys, it is crazy out there. As some of you guys already know, the real estate market is hotter than ever before and with that comes a lot of record-breaking sales but also a lot of frustration. So first, let's go over some of the stats of the market for both sales and rentals within that single family home and condominium space. And then later, we'll talk about how we got here and my two cents on what that means moving forward. So about a year ago, inventory for homes priced up to $1 million sat at around 5.1 months. Today, that inventory is down to just two months, which is extremely low, making available homes to purchase very scarce and well below the amount needed to match the buyer demand. Now, as a recap, when I refer to months of inventory in real estate, all that means is how fast a property would sell, assuming no more listings are added to the market. In this case, if no more listings are added to the future, we would run out of single family homes in the market in about two months. As a reference, anything under six months is considered to be a seller's market, anything over six months is considered to be a buyer's market, and at around six months is considered to be a neutral market. Homes in Miami, Dade, and South Florida, for that matter, are very much in a seller's market. Condominiums are trending towards a seller market as well. Towards the end of 2020, condo inventory was at about 13.5 months. And as of the end of Q1 2021, that same inventory dropped to 7.6 months, pretty much slicing inventory in half in the matter of just a few months, with sales continuing to increase as we make our way through Q2. Luxury properties are also having their moment. Properties priced at the 3 million plus range back in 2020 had a supply of about 71.4 months, if you could believe that. And as of this time in 2021, that same supply was slashed to about a quarter of that, now having only 16.2 months worth of supply. And honestly, to me, it feels a lot less than that because the luxury market is on fire right now. Just to put things into perspective, according to EWM Q1 of 2020, Homes priced over $1 million represented one out of every 12 homes sold in Miami-Dade County. And in just the first quarter of 2021, one out of every home sold in Miami-Dade were over $1 million. But what does this all mean for the rental market? Hey guys, I just wanted to take this quick time out to just ask you at this moment if you can please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You have no idea how impactful those two small gestures mean to the overall health of my channel and I really, really appreciate if you take the time out right now to just do those two things. Now, thank you so much. Now, let's get back to the content. The rental market may just be as insane as the sale market. Take, for example, Brickle condominiums. Back in 2019 to 2020, the average rental within that $2,000 to $5,000 range would stay on the market for around 45 days. And as of this month, May 2021, most properties are renting in under 10 days from being listed. Not to mention that sight unseen offers is at an all-time high. It wasn't too long ago where you can place a standard offer of, on a property of just first, last, and security at list price or slightly below, and you would have a good shot at securing that rental. Now, with competition at super boom volumes, landlords are expecting offers to come above list with many months up front. I mean, in some cases, six months or a whole year's worth of rent paid up front. Not to mention that your credentials as a tenant, including your income and your credit score, has to be flawless to even have a shot at competing. This is leading to a lot of frustration from renters, of course, putting them alongside buyers because there's just not enough inventory to go around. Last thing I would say about the rental market is this. Rental rates have increased between 20 to 30% in the last few months, making it for the first time in a long time that a mortgage for a property in many cases is way more affordable than the rental rate for that same property. To summarize, when compared to this time last year, inventory for single family homes has dropped 50% and sales have increased over 65%. Condos saw inventory drop over 20% and sales skyrocketed over to 120% especially within that brickle to downtown Miami market, which has seen an exponential growth in both sales transaction volume and sales prices over the last 60 days. So how did we get here? In my opinion, it is a factor of different reasons, but among them, I would have to put state tax right there at the top. You see, Florida draws the second highest number of immigrants from other states following only Texas. On average, Florida sees a net gain of about 661 new residents per day. And since New York and California are currently seeing a negative migration, meaning there are more people leaving those states than those that are coming in, those residents are moving to Florida. And it is no coincidence to me that the states with the highest state tax are moving to states with little to no state tax, such as Florida. Without a state resident shifting from South Florida, they bring two things. One, they're accustomed to highly competitive markets in the respective states, and they do not get sticker shock. If anything, Florida sales prices to them are a bargain, and they're trying to pay with cash, add ask, or over ask without really even thinking twice. 
Secondly, they open new industries and markets, some of which South Florida has never really been known to have. And with that brings a lot of attention, fueling the demand for both buyers and renters and quickly absorbing the inventory that we have. So what does this mean moving forward? First, I want to say that although the market has gotten worse for buyers and renters alike, and even for us agents, as we struggle to find properties to place our clients in, what I would say is that sales for homes, more specifically luxury homes, is not just good for the real estate market, but also the overall health of the economy as well. Mostly due to the fact that high end home buyers in many cases represent relocation of companies. And with that, of course, brings a lot of jobs. For the time being, this continues to be the consensus. As Florida remains to be a tax haven for many businesses, we expect to see the growth in the number of residents and jobs to increase. And since mortgage rates are still at historical lows, this is a perfect storm to promote a strong seller's market moving forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed the content. Let me know if this new content of this market update is something you'd like to see more of in my channel instead of just doing property tour videos. Anyways, let me know in the feedback below. That way I can continue to make the content that you guys all want to see. And I try to make this as short and sweet and to the point as possible. I don't know if I actually accomplished that, but either way, make sure you leave this video with a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And click that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a new video, which as you guys already know, is once a week. And Thank you guys for making it this far. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you all next week. God bless.